Hi, I'm Duncan, the technical trainer here at Enphase, and I'm going to walk you through a video demonstration of how to use the Array Builder to create virtual arrays in the Enphase installer platform. Open Enlighten Manager to add, modify, or edit an array. Do this by using your installer login, open your dashboard, then go to Systems and select Activations. For new systems, select Add New System. For existing systems, select the name of the system you want to edit. Open the activation form and scroll down until you find the Array Builder. Now open Array Builder to begin. Select Arrays, Add New Array. For a single row of five solar panels, I would select one row and five columns. Select Orientation. And finally, show that the azimuth is close to the direction the solar panels are facing on the actual roof. For example, the array is a north-facing roof, so I will begin with 0 degrees. Now you might also choose to include the tilt angle for the array. Select Add, and the panels are now displayed on the Array Builder. If a site has multiple arrays, you can add another array by selecting the Add button and repeating those steps. Now that the arrays are created, I will go ahead and add a background image. It is optional to add a background photograph of the installation site, however, it is good in practice to begin with this as it can help you position the solar array within the Array Builder. I am now going to upload a screenshot into the Array Builder. Select Background and select File. You will need to edit and crop the image size before uploading. To reposition the background image, click the image and drag it to the required position on the screen. To resize the image on the screen, just use the plus and minus buttons at the top right. Now that I've created the arrays for the site, I can manually select an array and move the image across to the correct position. Here, array 1 is slightly out of alignment, and I'll adjust the azimuth through a little trial and error to have the correct alignment. I will now repeat these steps for my second array. I'm happy that both arrays are in the correct position, and now I'm ready to add microinverter serial numbers to each of the solar modules. You can find a list of the microinverter serial numbers by selecting the menu bar and selecting microinverters. Unassigned means the microinverter serial numbers have not yet been added to a module on the screen. The next step is quite simple, you can simply drag and drop the serial number onto each solar module. Now to correctly do this, you must have a record of the microinverter serial number positions from the site. It is quite common for an installer on site to complete the array builder by using their installer app. This will mean that the arrays have already been created and the serial numbers have already been applied to each panel. Now you can still access, edit and modify the existing array that has been created. So for example, you may wish to add a background image or make a modification to an existing system. Remember to select Save, and to confirm how it looks, view the system to observe the complete virtual array within the Enphase monitoring platform. 